Welcome to the trap as we are my back back lit is the out of here out of here. Any man battle rap trap and we definitely got the streets. D out again, man. D out of here, man. Put it on your you go. Motherfucker, give me a couple more minutes, y'all. I'm leaving this gym. I'm going to make sure it's quiet, everything right. Man, get spiced. Yeah, nah, you good, huh? Holla, what up, Wolf? <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get the rolling, man. Let's get the rolling. So, nah, I ain't gonna worry after the course. I'm just a PNCSP. It's worth the wait, y'all. It's worth the wait. Trust me, y'all. Don't want me, I promise. <laughs> All right, so look, y'all, I was at the, um, I was at Politics as Usual event, right, last month with John John. Everybody hear me? Everybody hear me? We good? Uh, yeah, you good, Harlem. Okay. So I was at the Politics as Usual joint, you know, R Remy walked up, you know, Remy walked up, what's up, hey, man, like, what's up, Remy, how you doing? Like, nothing good seeing this and that, like. You know, it's about time for, you know what I'm saying, make history on Chrome again, you know. Last time I did business with you, it was wonderful, you know. I'm like, I know, Remy, I know. <laughs> so he laughed. I'm like, what's up? Who you got in mind? You know, she like, Mook. I'm like, Mook. I'm like, all right. I'm like, you know, we did shit with him before, man. You know what I mean? He, gonna, he, he, he ain't going to back out this time. I told myself I won't even let that, I won't, I ain't even really want to let that slide, but he, he, he good. He was like, man, let's talk about it. Let's make it happen. I'm like, all right, bad. Just hit me next week. Let's put it together. She hit me next week. What's up here, man? What's up? How your June looking? I'm like, man, talk to me. You know, my June could be looking however we need to be looking. She like, man, you know, I want to go to Houston. You know, move. I'm like, I've been, I've been itching to get to Houston. I ain't, I'm, I ain't battled in Houston before. You know, I've been there for a few events. You know, um, the Lux and, and Verb. I don't know if Clips and Bridge was on that same card or Surf and God. I can't really remember what I was there for. I remember being there at least twice. A lot of energy, a lot of crowd. Fuck it, I'm with it. We talking my numbers. I'm cool. You know, Remy. Remy seen this shit firsthand. <laughs> she sees she, it ain't hard. She, it ain't she, she. It ain't hard to negotiate with me and act what I'm asking for when she literally see this shit firsthand and can go to them numbers and see. Okay, worth that. We got you. All right, boom. She um, I actually was doing another favor. I ain't gonna say a favor, but you know, I was like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bust this out the head. Remember, I just want to battle. I see leagues retiring. URL ain't gonna book me. You know. This this probably the last chance this will ever even get booked, so I'm aware of that. You know, my ego in a way, my pride ain't in a way to be like, fuck it, let's get it done. I ain't tripping, you know. But my number, I got what I wanted, for the most part. You know, she called me back a couple of days later. I'm like, yo, Remy, what's up? Cause this like this probably like May. This probably like April 28th, like probably approaching day like 28th. I'm like June 28th month away so i need to know you know so i get the writing you know she like um she's like man I, I ain't gonna lie i might have to push it back because you know i i, I he you know what i'm saying he's he saying i'm far off from his number you know and she 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 told me i ain't gonna say that i ain't gonna say you know what i'm saying what's going on. well i'll let y'all do the math so she she far off from his number 
we had mine, so she said, you know, first of all, I asked first, you know, I asked, like, yo, what made you want to book me and move? You know, like, you just felt like history of what happened, you know? And she was like, oh, no, nah, he called and was trying to, try, he want to battle Miss Hustle. I'm like, all oh, right. She was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I want you and Hitman. I'm not, oh, I don't know nothing about all the other shit. I want you and Hitman. So that's who I'm booking. If you want to come over, I want you and Hitman. That's what the, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So that's how he even got to me. So I didn't want y'all to think, you know what I'm saying? He he called her for me or nothing like that. He called for somebody else. She like, no, nah, I want that match up. So that's how we got to where we got. So she called like, man, if we can't get to the number. So I said, you know what, Remy? Fuck it, just give me that number again. <laughs> and I ain't tripping, man. You know, like, you know, of course, yeah, if y'all know my history, I don't take less than what I got the first time, especially when I prove that I can bring in what I'm, you know, asked for. So basically, if you gave me $50 for this battle the first time, and uh, now nah, it's all good. I appreciate it, bro. So if you gave me $50 the first time, and I, you know what I'm saying, you end up making, <laughs> you know, $500. The next time, you know I need $150. You know what I'm saying? Like $150 now. Like, that's just how my mindset works because I gamble. I bet on myself. That's why I've never been in a battle. Of, uh, I never signed a multiple deal, battle deal, because I, 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 I you know what I'm saying, I, I gamble on myself. So, But I said, you know what, just to make the battle happen, I see it's whatever, it ain't going right on the negotiating end over there. Fuck it. Give me this again. Let's roll. Let's roll. Just to help you, Remy. She said, appreciate you. I, I know if you get, I, I know I can do it now. Cool. Couple of days go by on her from Remy. You know, um, mind you, she had the the um the Charlie Clips and Easy and the, the you know the, the verb and swamp coming up that weekend. So I was talking to her like that Monday. You know what I'm saying? So that Thursday and Friday, she had to handle that, so I understood. So, but I still ain't heard from her like four days. So, she get on live. I guess she in Miami, you know. They trying. I, I pop. I jump on the live. Like, man, I'm blocking you. Just talking stuff like I ain't heard from. Shit. Man, you know I'm in Miami. You know, don't don't worry about it. Like, just get the writing. Like it's up. Like just get the writing. Meaning like, I guess you know what I'm saying. They probably closed the deal over there. So I'm like. Remy, it's hard for me to write with no money. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to write for no money because a lot of bullshit be happening. I get the zoning out. If, if you're a battle rapper, you know battle rappers write off excitement, money. You know what I'm saying? Knowing it's locked and all that shit. So me not having no money, not knowing if it's locked in and knowing who I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with a nigga who will send a contract back out the blue and shit. So I can't really go, but it's, it's a gift and a curse because... When was Remy um event, y'all? Like it was like what what date was that? I can't I can't remember. Um, was it May May fifth? Yeah, it was like May fifth. Yeah, so yeah, it was Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, that's the date. Okay, okay, yeah. So Cinco so Cinco de Mayo. So May fifth. She talking about June twenty eighth. Me being in a position I've been in the last couple of years, I don't you know what I'm saying I don't rush battles like that. Like. I would if I got to, and if I want to, and if I'm hungry, like fuck it, nigga. All I need is for all I need is a month, nigga. Three weeks, I I tap back in that zone, especially for this nigga. I don't like that nigga, so I don't mind. Like, so it's May, it's May third, May fourth. I'm hollering at her, just like, yo, I need to know something though, because I don't know if you told him it's locked in and he over there writing, and I'm sitting back waiting. So I need to know. So she said, get the writing. So I'm like, all right. Still, for some reason, man, you know, I'm calling ARP like, man, something don't. Something don't really seem right, man. Like, I just, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, something don't, I can't even write ARP. I'm like, bro, I don't come to mind. So after the event happened, you know, I text Remy like, yo, I know you had the event and all that was going on. She said she was dealing with a lot of stuff that happened after the event. Give her time to call me. I'm like, cool. But I'm like, I got to know within the next two days. Like, we, gonna, we pushing May 8th, May 9th. <laughs> I got to know, Remy. I don't hear from her. As, while I'm waiting to hear from her, ARP say, yo, I just got an offer. I'm like, what you mean? He like, MOOC manager just hit me like, yo, man, we can we just do this? Like, uh, man, MOOC could just take this number and just you do it. So I'm like, why is he offering another lead 
you know what I'm saying, or offer when Remy telling me to write. And so now I'm all confused. I'm frustrated. I'm mad because I'm like, what is going on? So, you know what I'm saying? I hear ARP, like, yeah. So, you know, I'm retired, though. You know, ARP, like, I don't, I'm retired. And he don't really mess with Mook anymore from future, from prior um, business. You know what I'm saying? How he did the last um, event. He was up, didn't promote. You know what I'm saying? Missing face off. And, you know what I'm saying? Giving ARP a hard time. It, just, it was just, it's behind the scenes shit. Y'all don't know he be doing, bro. Like, the nigga really a diva. Like a flat out diva. So anyway, ARP really don't mess with him. So he like, man, plus I'm retired. Plus I'm really not gonna come out of retirement. For him, I'm cool on him. I'm like, I respect it. I respect it. I'm like, um, well, let me hit Remy right quick to see what's going on. So I hit Remy like, yo, I need to know today. Like, nah, nah, nah. I need to know today because I still ain't tell her that they was even reaching out to ARP. I ain't even really wanna be messy. I just wanted to see what she was gonna tell me. So I'm like, yo, Remy. I need to know today, what's going on? Like, oh, is the battle locked in or is not? Because you're telling me to write, I'm doing this. I ain't like, what's up, Remy? Didn't hear from Remy, nothing. So I said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I said, fuck it, don't worry about it. I hit Remy like, don't worry about it. It's been, it's been weeks. I've been asking just for a little bit of communication. I know you got a million things going. I'm not trying to check you in no way, but this how this battle rap stuff go, a nigga need to know to get writing. I don't know what, I know you and Mook cool, so I don't know if you just guarantee him that it's going on and he right and I'm not. I just need to know, Remy. There's no knock to you, but I need better communication. So I'm cool. I said, I'm just going to make a move on my own. I hear ARP like, yeah, I just tell her, man, she still ain't, I ain't heard from her in weeks, man. Like, so no nothing. So I'm going to do the battle myself. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do the battle myself, man. Because I say, you real ain't going to book it, man, right now. They might not ever book me again. I'm cool with that. Cool. I'm like, you retired. Cool. I'm like, uh, Remy just tried to book it and really couldn't do it because she wouldn't give Mook what he wanted. Mind you, she he texted ARP a number that that he said he'd just take a flat fee off. Flat, like I just give me this. That's all I want. So that let me know if Remy was way off from the number. <laughs> That you act that you was asking her, I already know the ball, the the range you're in. So it don't even make sense. So cool, whatever. But this him acting like he big dog. Just keep that in mind for this later, the, the, the more I get in depth. Just keep that in mind right there, y'all. So boom. I say, um, hey, you know what? I'm gonna do it out my own pocket. Fuck it. I say, these leagues ain't gonna, I say the way battle rap is right now, you know what I'm saying? The only three leagues that can afford it was you, probably Chrome. And um and URL, nobody's going to do it. You know what I'm saying? King of the Dot probably don't want to book that battle. It don't really make sense to do it up there. I do it myself. I pay him out my pocket. Fuck it. Um, tomorrow, man, I'm going to have you holler at his manager because, you know, Mook don't talk to people. Like, yeah, his manager talk to him. I'm like, I'm going to have you holler at his manager. Get him on the phone with me, man, and we just put it together like that. Boom. Next day come. Yo, yo, um, LP, like, yo, I got him on the phone. I ain't going to merge me and boom. They're like, what up? I'm like, what's up, bro? He say, um, first and foremost, I just want to let you know, I know you feel some kind of way that the first deal ain't go through when he sent back the contract. I can't tell you how to feel about that. But this Remy situation went off, went off fault. You know, she was way off from our number, and she just stopped communicating. So, you know what I'm saying? I reached out to another lead to try to make it happen one our fault. So I don't, want you to make, I don't want you to think it's just twice like our fault. I'm like, that's cool, bro. Fuck it, man. I ain't tripping. I'm going to do it myself, man. Long story short, I'm going to do it myself. Bags and bodies. Fuck, we're going to do it like that. This is the only way this battle about to happen now. This is the only platform that this battle can happen on right now. Say, so if Mook really want to battle Hitman and he don't fuck with Hitman like, I, like, I, like how he say he do, and I don't fuck with Mook like I say I don't, what do we got to do to make it happen? Um, He said, cool, let me call Mook. You know what I'm saying? LP, um, call Mook. I mean, he called Mook. He called ARP back and said, Mook said the only way he do it on bags and bodies is if he get 50% of the stream. I told, I told, um, I told ARP, I said, nigga, I'm fucked up. Tell the nigga he's a fucking goofy. I'm pissed, right? I thought about it. I'm like, you know, ego aside, holler. I said, ego aside, look at it from both sides. I said, okay, let me sit, let me calm down. He won 50%. Okay, that's murder move. I'm hitman holler. 
he already know our rival. Like, he know that kind of look kind of crazy on his end, probably. Even though it really don't, but I'm just trying to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to be a rational eye. Right, he he, he finna do it on bags and bodies, which is a lead hitman on, you know what I'm saying? On the company hitman on, so he already feel like he probably coming out to losing out the blocks. Fuck it, man. 50%. Fuck it. ARP, tell him I do this. Whatever I spend on the budget, meaning the battles, the you know, the flights, the hotels, the battles I gotta book and all this shit to make this card a great card. Whatever I spend on that, his 50% start from after that. Cause he can't possibly think I'ma just pay for a co-main event, another battle, another battle, and another battle. Flights, hotels, um, rap grid, you know what I'm saying? Whatever else, and think he just come in and rap and get 50%. Oh, he can't think that. So I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. I know he don't think that's gonna happen. So tell him once we meet this threshold, I would give him 50% of the stream, we chop it. Cause at the end of the day, I'm not trying to stop Mook money. I don't give a fuck about trying to do bidding with him and make sure he don't eat. If if the stream make a million dollars, as he get 500, I get 500. I don't care. If it make 800, 44, 250, whatever the case may be, bro, I don't care. So fuck it. I give him 50% of the stream because I know this is the only time and the last chance that this battle is going to happen. Fuck it. I give him that. ARP call, call his manager. Say, Hitman say he's willing to give, you know, Mook 50% of the stream. As long as it, the 50% start after whatever the number it is that Hitman spends on the event. They say, cool, give us five days to think about it. Or give us a few days to think about it and we'll, we'll be in touch. So, man, I'm like, yeah, they can't turn that down. I'm like, shit, nigga, that's what he asked for. So I'm at him, nigga, I'm calling niggas. Yo, fuck it, I'm finna set this car. This car finna be that. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. Fuck it. You know, five days by the by time, this this like Wednesday. So I'm like, by Monday, I should have an answer for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So Thursday passed, Friday passed, Saturday, Sunday. I hear ARP and say, yo, mind you, I'm, I don't rub this into, you know what I'm saying, committing this shit. I understand how that go. But this situation is a little different because... We we telling on we telling somebody else like we you know what I'm saying we we co telling somebody else who was finna do the battle that couldn't get it done so we already in negotiating mode they already sent you an offer that you turned down because you're not doing but I know the offer so what I'm offering them is more than anybody on earth would give Mook for a Hitman Holler battle your rail not gonna give them fifty percent R B E wasn't gonna give them fifty percent. Remy wasn't going to give him 50 percent Remy don't even give streams out. <laughs> so I'm like, it shouldn't take four or five days for them to, because I'm trying to put this shit together and get a nice card. I'm trying to do this and have the summer ready, so we need to move. So I'm like, it shouldn't take five days to say yes or no to an offer that y'all brought to the table. So I said, man, tell them I need to know something about money. I'm just going to go in another direction, bro. I, I just feel like it's taking too long. We won't. They said, cool, we'll be in touch um, by the, um, the next day. Whatever it was, that was Sunday. It might have been Monday. I think I told them that Monday when I ain't hear from them. So they will be in touch the next day. Tuesday come. Tuesday morning, nobody heard nothing. Boom, boom. boom. It's 4 or 5 p.m. Tuesday. ARP get a text. Yo, um, okay, so we're going to need another week. We working on something. So I'm... I'm already feeling some kind of way. Like another week, you working on what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We working on what? Like, oh, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, y'all. I skipped something. My bad. So when they came with the offer and I came with my offer, like when I when I agreed to him, I got on the phone with ARP and his manager. I'm sorry, I forgot this whole conversation. So when we got on the phone, I'm like, I I give Mook just we got to start at this number. So he got to ask some questions like, okay, why do you think the event going to be, you know, between 160, 200,000? I'm like, well, shit, I'm, the type of battles I'm going to go book, it can't be cheesy because it's Hitman and Mook. You see how the culture gave him hell for the Tay Rock battle because the undercard was nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm going to leave your spin. Just say this battle will want 20. 
this battle won't want 25, this battle won't 15, this battle won't 10, this battle won't say, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be at 100 in battles just alone. The, the niggas, how finna go call that I feel like the, 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 call, the culture want to see, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to go do it, I'm going to go do it. I'm a, for the, I ain't finna go half ass it. This hit, man. Everything I do, put my name to it, got to be that. So I'm finna go spend some money. You know, he's like, oh, okay, well, one if, um, that I, do, do, do what a battle going to be released at? I'm like, bags and bodies. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I don't think Mook could be, I don't think, what about if we, you know, choose a neutral platform for the battle to release that? I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? I'm like, why would we battle and possibly do 20,000 pay-per-views on a platform and then trip off what a plat what a battle released that? That don't make sense, bro. Like, what are you talking about? They're like, man, we just, there's Mook. Mook don't want to, you know, like, we got to think of what, then he said, we'll start a new channel and then ARP cut in like, yo, I ain't trying to get in y'all combo, but that'll be like the dumbest shit ever. Like you got the backing on, you know what I'm saying? The bags and bodies, 100,000 platform and built up the battle rap scene. Boom, boom, boom. You do not want to start a new channel to promote something like Hitman and Moot. That makes zero sense. You know what I'm saying? He like that ain't really, that wouldn't be smart. So he's just giving ideas like, okay, well, one of, okay, what if we bring our money to the table? I'm like, y'all bring our own money to the table. We split everything, bro. Everything down the line, bro. We split everything. Fuck it, bro. Bring your hundred thousand. I got my hundred thousand. We put it together. We put the car together. Boom, boom, boom. I, I'm, I'm cool with that, bro. Now, what's up? What's, what's up now, bro? Okay, cool. Okay, we, we gonna talk. That's an option. All right. Well, cool. We'll be in touch. We are gonna see what, what we want want to do. Then the, the Thursday came. The Friday came. The Saturday came. The Sunday came. The Monday came. And I'm like, yo. Let them know, man. Bang, you know what I'm saying? It's been five days. If they not with it, I just go in another direction. But I need to know something today, tomorrow. They hit back. They will be in touch by tomorrow. Tuesday came, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m. They, his manager sent the text. Okay, so we need another week. Um, we working on something. So ARP, bro, before he even called me, he said, yo, Van, I'm letting you know Hitman going to feel some kind of way about this text because you yeah, told him a few days. It's been five days, six days, and now you're saying y'all need another week y'all working on something. Working on what? You know what I'm saying? Like, what now y'all, it seems like y'all just trying to do anything to make it seem like y'all don't want so Mook can be a, like a step ahead. Like, what's the problem? Y'all asked for 50%. He, oh, he said he'd give y'all that. He said y'all y'all asked for 50% of the footage. He said he willing to give y'all. Oh, I ain't even tell y'all that. He asked, he said if we come out on Bags and Bodies, can he get 50% of the footage just in case it's sell to Netflix or he got a plug or whatever? I said, I would give you that, bro. You get 50% of the footage. I got 50. If Netflix, whatever deal y'all act like y'all can get, I will be able to give y'all 50. That's no problem. What else? So we got past all that. So now he like, Hitman gave y'all 50% of the footage. He gave y'all 50% of the, the stream. No other battle league is going to book this. He gave y'all everything y'all want. What's taking so long? So Van, his manager Van got on the phone with us like, look, you can, a hitman, you know, AR, ARP can, you know what I'm saying, testify to this. Mook just don't close no deal with no booking, you know what I'm saying, under two weeks. That's just not how he moves. I'm like, I respect that. But the difference is your office and we on the time, like we trying to get this shit rolling. What is he waiting two weeks for to say yes or no when he was ready to give ARP a number and book that day. Like he was he y'all y'all offered ARP a number and was ready to close that day. If ARP would have said yeah, the flight would have been out. So what's taking so long because it's hitman? Y'all thinking of every excuse and every way so he won't feel like he's just in the back and like under me or whatever he's trying to think about. I said, but I don't have two weeks for him to say yes or no to his offers. I this ain't even me asking y'all. These are y'all offers. He wanted 50%. I said, yeah. He want 50% of the footage. I said, yeah. What the fuck is we waiting on? So he's like, man, that man, I was just saying, well, because he don't want to, he don't want to release on bags and bodies. I'm like, man, that's ego shit, bro. How you gonna tell me y'all don't want to release on someone with nobody else finna book the battle? I say, bro, that's that's nonsense. So he like, man, I'm just telling you, we never agreed to it being released on. I say, he can battle on the platform in front of 20,000 pay-per-views um, by it potentially, but you don't want it to release. That's where you draw the line. I'm like, man, y'all playing games, bro. I'm like, man, what y'all going to do? He said, man, bro. So ARP just said, yeah, we we moving backwards, bro. Y'all want it or not? He called Mook. He called back. Uh, Mook said, in order for it to be released on bags and bodies, he want 200,000. 
or he wants 70, 30 of the stream. Are you fucking serious? 70, 70, 30 of what? Who you You want shit? You on 70 30 of a hitman holler stream? You get 70 and hitman take 30 from a battle that I came to y'all with trying to make happen? When Remy ain't even want to give you what you asked for, and that's your friend. ARP and he told y'all no when you know URL ain't even doing big events like that. Who's yet, bro? Charlie Clips and Rosenberg Raw battle came out after y'all's and surpassed y'all. You don't got are you fucking serious, bro? You cannot be this delusional to hit me back and I put my ego to the side. It was going to give you 50% of the stream just to make the battle happen. And now you want 70. Just, just tell the world you petrified to stand on stage in front of me, nigga. Just say that. You keep playing all these games like you so delusional. We see how you living. We see how you living, bro. How can you be this delusional? The whole world just seen how Murder Mook, the GOAT of battle rap, is living. And you disrespect me and tell me you don't want to make bags and bodies like you going to make my platform by battling on there? So you going to say 70-30? Use a hoe, bro? Because I really put my ego aside to even book you. Do you, you not understand? I got five more major battles that the world possibly want to see before I battle you anyway. I can go call Twerk. I can go call Geechee. <laughs> I can go call Lux. I can go battle Rum. I can fucking three rounds with goods. I can battle Miss Hustle. I can battle Briz. These are all mega matchups. I'm trying to look out for you and shit like, bro, man, ain't nobody finna book this shit. I'm mad enough to look in the mirror and say, ain't nobody finna book this battle, bro. ARP retired. You real don't really rock with me. Remy, you can, Remy couldn't get Remy book me. She got my number. We was fine. She couldn't get your number. Evidently, she felt like whatever number you asked her, you wasn't worth it. So you call me and say you want seventy and thirty. You was a hoe, bro. So I told his manager, why the fuck would I? Why the fuck would I give him seventy thirty? Well, I told ARP to tell his manager, why the fuck would I give him seventy thirty? That the nigga was just like, well, I mean, LP, you the only nigga in the world who feel like hit, Mook not bigger than Hitman. And LP was just like, respectfully, bro. You know, I do business with both. <laughs> Mook just lost me money at my last event, bro. <laughs> we talking about somebody who just lost me money. I book Hitman. I'm in a positive. I'm in a green every single time. And I pay Hitman a lot of money. He said, but respectfully, if I'm the only person who feel like that, Go ask him to ask his friend why she won't give him the number he wanted, but Hitman was squared away. Go ask him that if I'm the only one who feel that way. Because if I'm not mistaken, Remy did business with Hitman already. Remy can go look at them numbers. Yeah, I got to stop being delusional, bro. Like, this shit ain't cool. I'm trying to look out for the fans and do I'm paying out my own pocket. I'm going to spend $200,000 of my own money. Just to make sure this battle don't sell away, because I understand and respect the battle, what it could be. The Hitman Hollow vs. Motor Moot, especially in the state the battle rap ends right now. I understood that. Fuck, let me put my ego to the side, man. I'm a book it. I understand that he feels some kind of way that his rival, like a nigga like Hitman Holler, booking the battle. So I, I I coughed up 50%. Cool, bro. I put my ego to the side. Because if we talking numbers, he can't, he's not even worthy 50%. With me, if we talking numbers, a nigga who made a million dollars from pay-per-view before, a nigga, I got one, two, three, and four highest pay-per-view selling events on RBE. I got Chrome high selling event. I got the most views on eight, nine different platforms, bro. 
I ain't talking about like 700,000. I'm talking about 2 million per. I average 2.4 a, a, a battle, bro. And I was willing to give you 50%, put my ego to the side just to make it happen. But you such a bitch ass nigga and delusional. You call back and do shit like that. You gotta be petrified. You're petrified to stand in front of me, bro. So I told his manager, bro, respectfully, I don't know what y'all on, bro. I don't know what y'all got going on. But bless, I, bless his heart, bro. I don't I know, I know he got an alcohol problem. He, he might be drunk right now. That ain't nothing even plus. Fuck it, bro. Something wrong with him. Because if you think him man, how does gonna give somebody 70 any nigga, I will argue with Jay Z damn there. <laughs> Jay Z, you 70, 30. This battle rap, I'm hit, man. Jay Z, I'm the whole bit. I'm the hold on now. <laughs> Like, nigga, Drake can tell me, man, I battle you. I want 70. I'm going to say, hold on now. <laughs> Let alone a fucking murder move. Murder move, you going to get 70% of what? So I just want, I just wanted to call, make this space to just show y'all the shit that be going on behind the scenes, bro. Of these niggas that y'all be really, like, be giving the real nigga stamp to. Now, I, I let all the bloggers in here because I want y'all to answer, ask me questions or if y'all, am I tripping? Because maybe I could be tripping. Maybe y'all feel like he should get 70, 30. Maybe y'all feel like that. So I, I, everybody who's got a speaker or anybody that want to get asked some questions, bro, please talk to me because this is the last time this shit, I won't stand up. I would never stand in front of that nigga. I would never put money in that nigga pockets again or try to put money in his pockets again. Because like, yeah, I got a bunch, of, a bunch of big battles I can do, and I'm getting my number everywhere I ask to go. Anybody that call him man to book me, I tell them my number and they give it to me. I've never had a situation where a battle didn't happen because they couldn't. No, the battle didn't happen because your number's out out what you thinking you doing, bro. We was just in the blue room, bro. It wasn't no, it wasn't, it wasn't packed out when you was there. Niggas is hoes, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just wanted to tell y'all that. Anybody got a question, bro? Anybody wanna ask me before I leave this shit alone forever? I just wanted just I wanted y'all to hear that. One last thing, mind you, he turned he sent back the contract in 2021. Mind you, we didn't happen with Remy because she out he he gave her he gave her a price that Remy feel like not worth her paying. And the third time, this didn't happen because of him. Because all he asked for was 50%. I told him cool. Then it went to 200000 Then it went to 7030. So this battle didn't happen three times. And each time it was for murder moot. I just want y'all to know that. Shout out to the trappers, we are my back, back, lit, it's we out of here, out of any man, battle rap, trapper, we definitely got the streets. D out of here, D out of here, man, put it on your YouTube.